Uh, I've seen a lot of guys that, that aren't afraid to work hard and, and that want to learn the offense and defense as quick as possible. Um, guys calling in, asking, hey, can you come watch film with me? That's, that's a really good sign uh, because that's, that usually is what hinders a lot of freshmen. It's really not talent yet. It's, it's the understanding of offenses and defenses. So uh, I've been encouraged by how much they want to learn. Uh, well, something we can't look past is, I mean, Fozzie Whitaker on the team last year. I know he was really good uh, for everybody, and I can only imagine, especially Joe and Malcolm, you know, as, as far as, you know, how to do things, because he was a, a program guy. Um, so hopefully some of those, uh, you know, attributes that Fozzie had translated down, and, and they're going to be able to help the young guys come along as well, because uh, I think they're all going to be pretty talented. Hard work, and, you know, really, he's, he's hungry. Uh, he wants to, he wants to be good. He knows there's some hype around him, but he's not worried about that. He's going to be as good of a player as he could be. Oh, he's fast. It's not hard to it's not hard to pick that out on the football field. And I don't want to sit here and talk about all of them individually, but I mean, you take Desmond Jackson and uh, then that uh, Brandon Moore, JUCO guy that came in. They've both been working really hard this summer, and I've been impressed by the way they play. His motor. He's he's a high energy guy, and he plays the whistle. He's extremely good. You know, he can he can play with the best of them, and I mean, he's a, he's a heck of a football player, and he's worked his tail off this summer. Yeah, I mean, that's another defensive tackle is gonna be really solid for us. Yeah, I mean, he's been working hard just like the rest of them. He's, I mean, they're all gonna be good players for us. I think as much as we can, we want to limit ourselves by, you know, setting little goals. Uh, we want to be as good as we can. We don't want to put restraints on ourselves. Uh, he's kept a good attitude through everything. I know he was, he was in a tough position last year. I mean, it's not easy to uh, start as a freshman, especially at the position he was in at. And he's he's been consistent. He's always he's a guy that's going to be at workouts, he's going to be there on time, and he's going to work his tail off. And that's really been paying off. Uh, he's he's a little bit more laid back, kind of quiet. But uh, and then game day, it's he keeps to himself a lot. But there's just a different personality. He, he just doesn't ever say anything. Uh, they've done as much as they can all summer. I know I work with them every day, and if if something can be done this summer, I think they've worked as hard as they can towards that goal. Yeah, I don't I don't know what his goals are I'm sure Harson does but uh, I, I didn't talk to him about it but like I, like I said and again they've uh, they've all whatever the goal's been it's been good attitudes and hard work this summer because he's competitive that's what it is and he keeps us competitive especially through a time like camp when you know you kind of get in the lull of you know, going against the same guy and you know everybody's excited week one but when that last week is rolling around who's going to come, who's going to go to work. And uh, Coach Charles doesn't like to lose, and he takes that on a personal level. We know we're not going to lose to the defense today. And that energy that he brings with it is, is all great, and he holds us to very high standard. It, it doesn't matter if, if we get a look we haven't seen before. We've probably talked about it, and we should pick it up the first time we see it. And that happens quite often, and you know, it's just, you know, guys competing guys you put enough guys that are competitive in a room and uh different things go on but it's you know something that happens within the team and it's really not that big of a deal uh for that to happen within a program oh absolutely yes i think uh i think he's going to play well there and he can play tackle you know there's nothing wrong with the guy that can play two positions uh and i think you know donald keeps coming along and learning this offense he didn't have the pleasure of playing through a season with uh, the system and going through a camp. So he came in with a little bit of a handicap during spring ball, but he's starting to pick it up and get it down. So hopefully a camp and uh, getting ready for the season, he'll, uh, he'll do well.